Hello, welcome to the demo tutorial for SMS Pro's Hazard Reporting Solution. This solution is designed for operators who have smaller safety budgets, are in phase one or two of their programs, or need superior hazard reporting, managing, and analysis tools. In this video, I will demonstrate the hazard reporting tools offered in the hazard reporting solution. The hazard reporting tools are near the core of the hazard reporting solution. Hazard reporting with SMS Pro can take anywhere from 15 seconds to 4 minutes. There are six ways to report issues, all of which are configurable. They are standard hazard reporting with many industry accepted and predefined reporting forms, quick reporting, which can be done in as little as 15 seconds, email reporting, giving anyone the ability to generate hazard issues via email, public issue reporting, where the public can fill out hazard issue reports, offline reporting, which is used in the event of little or no internet connectivity, and audit issues. When audit findings are made, they will generate a safety issue. Furthermore, hazard issues can be generated from gap analyses. When a gap analysis finding is made, it will generate a safety issue. Now let's walk through a couple of hazard reports. To submit a safety hazard report, users will go to the hazard reporting module. First, let's see how fast an issue can be generated with the quick report. Let's say there has been a security breach somewhere near the runway, and it needs to be reported immediately. We would click on Quick Report. Here we only need to give a title as well as a summary. If we would like, we can also add a severity and write down any initial actions taken. In this case, I will mention that security has been notified and then submit by clicking Finish. As you can see, it's an extremely quick way to submit safety issues. After we submit the issue, it will appear in the Issue Manager and safety managers will be notified. Furthermore, because the issue is marked as critical, all employees using SMS Pro will be notified about the issue because we have configured it this way in our portal. Now let's go over a standard issue report using our same security breach example from earlier. Most of the options in the standard issue report are fully configurable by admin users. First, you will have a configurable map interface to mark where the issue occurred. You can select multiple locations and drag the issue locations where you need. You would then save your markers and click Next. After this, we will fill out details about the issue. Reporters have the ability to make the issue public for all others to see, or private for only management to see. Issues can be submitted anonymously, whereby the issue will only be seen as reported by an anonymous user. And issues can also be submitted as confidential, where only one designated user will be able to see the issue, even if the issue is checked as being public. Admin users configure which user sees confidential reports. Users are able to submit multiple variations here, such as submitting a confidential issue anonymously or a private issue anonymously. Reporters can also choose to be notified when certain updates are made as the issue is managed. Next, safety issue reports can be automatically routed to outside agencies that admin users have configured, such as the FAA or Transport Canada. In the next section, we will categorize our issue. Again, all options here are fully configurable. First, we choose a division that is most relevant to our issue. We can select a base or location if applicable. We can also select a vendor or client if applicable. Next, we select which type of issue it is. And finally, we select whether we would like to use the general safety report, which looks about the same as the quick report, or whether we would like to use a custom report, such as a bird strike or fatigue report. On the next page, we will fill out the report. We then have the option of giving a location, date, and time for the issue if applicable. Next, 
We can add any other people or vehicles, aircrafts involved with the issue. And finally, we can review a summary of the issue report and attach any relevant documents, such as a photo. If users are unsure what to do at any point in the hazard reporting process, they can click the green Help icon in the upper right-hand corner of the screen that will direct them to the hazard reporting training videos with detailed instructions on how to report issues. After we submit by clicking Finish, we receive two success messages. The first is a success message in the lower right-hand corner of the screen, letting us know that the issue was submitted successfully. Next, the user will receive an email success message that guides them step by step through what is expected of them as the issue is managed, allowing them to stay comfortably connected throughout the entire hazard management process. Users can monitor the status of their issue in here, as well as in the Safety Workspace module, which lists all submitted issues and the status of each issue for a user. As you can see, the Hazard Reporting Solution provides safety programs with powerful, intuitive, and comprehensive hazard reporting tools. Make sure you see the other Hazard Reporting Solution demonstration videos to see which other tools this solution delivers. For operators who need more comprehensive risk management and safety assurance capabilities, such as tools for auditing, management of change, a risk register with predictive hazard analysis, KPI trends, initial and recurrent training, or goals and objectives management, then please see the risk management solution and safety assurance solution demo videos to assess which solution offers the tools your organization needs. If you have any questions or comments, please contact us via phone, email, or social media. We always appreciate feedback. Thank you for watching.